So I think I was talking about this last time that um, we have we have uh, about two hours um, two hours uh, class about and um, people want always want to uh, to think about uh, time. Time gives them uh, some kind of uh, confidence about how they are. Are we doing good? Are we good? Are we good? So I would say that, that uh, we want to invest um, something like uh, one hour for the drawing. Okay, just to make a, a nice drawing. It's supposed to take us uh, for now. Uh, it can take us. It can take us two or three hours to make really uh, uh, precise drawing. But but we separate one hour and one hour. So it's um, so don't don't rush now to make anything uh, uh, too quick because we have time. This is a Thursday, soon weekend. Don't rush. So I think that I will start here, we'll begin here, we'll begin here. Go this way. You can you can you can look at the, the width of the nose and the width of the eye. Well, in this case, because the nose is, we see the nose uh, from underneath. It's a little bit, just a little bit longer. Yes, so the eye will be this way. <clears throat> now this corner of the eye is higher. At the beginning of the eye, and this is lower, so it just go down, okay, in an angle. You see it. See, just a little bit. It doesn't go like this. It's not. If I put it, if I put it vertical, you can see that the the right eye is a little bit lower, okay. So you want it a little bit lower. This is uh, vertical, a little bit lower. This one will start here, in this corner, and this one will end here. Okay, like this and like this. She is an actress. She is Argentinian. She studied uh, drama therapy. If you want to uh, to add this uh, information to the painting, it can be nice. Now with the eyebrows, it's very interesting because uh, it's an arc. Okay, it's an arc, Be and because it's an arc, we we don't think about this as as a, a straight line. And what I'm looking for is where is the compared to the eye, where is the highest point of the arc of the of this uh, eyebrows arc? It goes from here towards here. Okay almost at the end of the eye, up here, and then goes down. Okay, it is not at the center. It's not like a, a, a big bump. Yeah, it's not like a Indian uh, tent. It goes up here. Now it starts just, just if the eye is starting here, just before the eye.
Now, usually I don't, I tend not to, uh, to make the, the lower, lower lid, not to close it. I like to keep the, um, I like to keep the eye at the lower part, I like to keep it uh, open. Yes, like this, goes down, it goes down here, straight here, and coming inside. Okay. I have this one, I have this side, and yes, very good here. Let's see the distance, the distance between the eyes. Maybe uh, right now, almost, almost the same, almost, just a little bit longer. Yes, here, okay. It comes here. <clears throat> because, because she's, uh, she's not in front of us, it's going to be not straight, but a little bit lower. Let's start a little bit lower than the vertical line, than the horizontal line. It's not horizontal, a little bit lower, just tiny bit. It doesn't have to be a, so um, an angle, but but still, the, the head is just a little bit tilted, a little bit from for us. Goes down here and goes down here. It's here. She's looking to the left. The fold, very important. This side is, is a, a farther farther away from the upper lip, from the upper upper lip here. And this is closer, just a little bit. And uh, it goes all the way behind the, the eye. And here's a corner. Look at the highlight in the eye. Here. It starts here, goes up a little bit, and down here. Now we have the hair is coming inside the face, goes out. I mark it because it helps me to uh, to see to see hair. I would say. The nose, the nose here. Very small, most real. It's in the center, but but it goes it goes to the right. And here the the nose here. The left side is bigger than the right side. We have the shadow. Here is the shadow. Shadow. One angle to here. This nice. I always uh, make some some uh, checking, all kind of checking, like the distance between the nose will here or the wing of the nose of the nose to this side, this side to the, the most prominent to the left in the face. And then just see where it goes in the other side, just to see if I'm uh, if I'm okay with the with the placement. Okay. 
Okay, this is the same line or lower a little bit. Maybe it is lower. This one is lower a little bit. Right, the right side a little bit lower. We can clean this um, dark. But if you have like like uh, I have, this is too big. The the lid is too big on my pencil, and the paper is uh, is arc arch, not arches. Arch, French. So leaves leaves uh, dark marks on the paper. Um, I draw with uh, with this uh, pencil because um, I want you to see. But but uh, when I paint uh, for myself, not in a class. I use the 2B, I use the HB, sorry. So, um, because this, this paper is um, so uh, textured, it takes the graphite so good, so you don't need the, uh, you don't need the uh, very uh, soft pencil to, uh, mark. we will start today, we will start with the, with the hair. Um, we will start different today, so I want to, to make some marks uh, for the for the hair. It's from here. Now the the corner of the mouth. I measure again. There's nothing wrong about measurement, about rechecking again and again and again until you're sure you have things in uh, place. Look, nobody is going to pay for this uh, commission uh, painting, but if you reach this point that uh, you get a commission, you want to make uh, exactly the person that commissioned the, the, the portrait. So you have uh, ideas how to approach it. If you draw it uh, this way, of course, you can, you can do what, what uh, nowadays many, many um, uh, painters, even good ones, they're just projecting the, they think, uh, okay, I project it and then I, uh, I feel the, 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 the very nice, the, the colors inside and that's it, beautiful. But what gives, what gives some kind of uh, character to the, uh, to the painting is the drawing. The drawing, just the way you translate what you see into uh, uh, shape, shapes and forms on the paper, on the canvas. This is what, what makes it interesting. Um, your, your painting from, from, from a photograph or from other people's uh, painting. So for me, I don't like this idea so much that people are uh, projecting. But you can see that nowadays people are running after uh, like marks on the internet. Anyway, you you find yourself what is good for you.
Now, something interesting about the Joes. Um, here and here, this is the turning, like you can think uh, an arc here. You see how it goes this way. So it turns. Somehow. Okay. Make that. Maybe higher. Higher. The um, the highlight in the eye. I will. I will. Uh, I don't. I don't want to. Uh, struggle uh, to um, to keep it white. I prefer to do it with uh, white gouache at the end. But if you if you want to insist uh, keeping it white and be intense and don't don't uh, go over it with the paint, so so do it if you're brave. I'm not that brave in this case. Wider. So we have another 10 minutes to, uh, to um, fix the drawing. Um, maybe, maybe if you want to show me your drawing, we can look at the drawings and see if I can correct something. So look at this. This way, this way, and go this way. Recheck, always recheck. Just down and up. One, two, three. One, two, three. Here goes down. Maybe not so much here. Where is the shadow here? Really underneath here. The shadow. Here. Yeah. This is round. This is more straight. Yes, yeah, so it's straight. This line. Go so this way, and this is more round. So we have like a straight, more straight side, a more round side. Straight side, more round side, because we are uh, 
the head is uh, is turning. Um, Of the eyes and the mouse. Okay, good. Yeah. Add some some more hair here. Trust yourself. I like sometimes the, uh, I like to see the, uh, the, the drawing, uh, although, although we put uh, enough uh, dark, dark, uh, dark colors, but for watercolor, it's, it's okay to see the, the pencil marks, if you don't mind, if you mind, so erase them and, and make it uh, invisible. But, but uh, my opinion, uh, this is part of the uh, part of the painting. <sighs> I'm just checking a few things here. Always checking, I told you, this is what I do. It's okay. I have a mirror. So if you look uh, through the mirror, you can see the uh, mistakes, if you did any mistake. There are painters, there are portrait painters, they have a big mirror behind them. And they're always turning uh, to see uh, the painting uh, in reverse with the mirror, just to get an idea. I'm talking and it's on a mute. What what do you do with the mirror? If you look through the mirror, you can see you can see uh, the other angle, okay? Because it's a, it's a, it turns it uh, it flip horizontally, and you can see you can see your mistakes. If you have any mistakes, you can see them very clear, or something is not so um, uh, so resolved. I would say. Like I saw I have something here. Not so. Uh, so the line here. Is it possible? Is it 
Yeah. You have a mirror. Uh, mirror? What, do you, what do you what do you do with the mirror? You put it. You you look at you look at the painting and the drawing uh, and the picture and the drawing at the same time. Ah, you put it on this like that, like that. Uh, wait, okay. wait, 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 wait. It's wider. Look, you take you take the mirror. Okay, look at me. I'm looking. I'll show you. Look at me. Woody. I take the mirror and I put it this way, so I can see. I can see that the painting is here, and I can see it here. Okay. Like, like I, I put it like this. Okay, so I see it here. I don't put it like this to see myself. I like okay? the work you've done on the wall. Pardon? I like all the work on your wall. Ah, okay. <laughs> um, so this is how we, we are looking at this, okay? Just a little bit, uh, spray the, the colors on the palette. Okay. Are you ready or uh, should we wait another two minutes for the final corrections? Tell me, tell me, is that better? It's getting better. I think the mouse is a little bit um, too small. Too small. The lips, the lips, uh, they can be a little bit, not not that much, but but they look. Uh, like he's having a tight lips. So to say, oh, oh, I see something. Oh, I see something. That's what I see. Oh, good. You can mute your uh, microphone. That's all it needed. That's what I do. Okay. So can we start? Let's start. Everybody here uh, ready? I start with the lightest, lightest value of the hair. Just to get some ideas of uh, let's see, yes, something like this. I have transparent uh, yellow kind of. Let's add some orange to this or darker value for the uh, for the hair. We don't deal with the face right now, we're just the hair. We try it this way. 
today. What brush are you using, please? What, what? May I see your brush, please? Yes, this one. Right. Mute all. Please mute yourself if you don't, uh, if you don't talk. We make connection later on between the head and the, uh, the hair. But for now, we try to make it this way. Um, let me have another brush. Maybe, maybe a little bit uh, cerulean. I take cerulean here. Just to uh, make some uh, dark values here for the light side. For the dark side, will be uh, the uh, the paper. But this, of course, some of this will, pay, will, will remain uh, untouched for, for the lighter uh, values here in the hair. Work with water, but don't work too much water, not just water, water with paint. More orangey, it's more. Uh, I put some, some red light here, you see in the face, red light, so we can, we can add some, some reds to the hair, wet into wet. As we call. Remember the, the, the colors getting lighter once they dry. So don't be afraid to put uh, more chroma, as we can say. She's having an animal from here. I want to go now. I mean, in, in a, one minute, just let it a little bit dry and then to go for the darks in the hair. Maybe a smaller brush, this kind of brush. Mop, different mop, different mop brush. Mop brown, um, ultramar uh, no, cobalt blue. Uh, Light red or uh, burnt sienna. Maybe a little bit orange, touch of, touch of orange. Let's see if it's uh, good enough. Go dark. Now a little bit uh, dry. Make it dry. Not too much. Not too much water in the paint because we we want to uh, 
like a connection between the first layer, which is still dry, uh, still wet, sorry, to the next one. And we want it to melt together. Can be a little bit darker even here. You want it to blend? Yes, yes, exactly. That's why we are working into the wet paint. Bleed one into the other. We can, we can uh, if it's not, it won't be enough. Uh, let me see that we have something to do uh, later on, we will do. But for now, Some orangey uh, notes here. Blonde or uh, this light, like a more between between the uh, orange and um, brownish green. Invent something here. There's not a. Uh, you have to be. Uh, you have to have some kind of uh, imagination to make this hair. You're not really um, uh, doing exactly the all the curls here. They can go back later on, maybe. Uh, like I want some blue here. Some blue. I'll go for a smaller brush even. Smaller and harder. Yeah, this one. I want some some darks here. This would be ultramarine and brown, maybe. I think. And light red. Ultramarine, brown, light red. More darker, darker, more blue. This is a time for this. Uh, There's a chance that it will blend. 
as uh, Jody would like to remind us. As dark as it is, it will be uh, lighter, so don't be afraid. And when we put it uh, in this stage, when the paper is still wet, there's a chance that it will, we get a nice uh, combination of darks and lights here. Make it interesting. When you work with all colors, uh, you put the dark and, and then you can cover it. But now, the, the darks will uh, remain very much seen. Okay, not too much. I think it's so much. If you want to come back, I said uh, we will come back later. Hope I have enough room in my card. Okay, nice. Now I clean my palette. I let it dry a little bit. For well, now, I don't want any blend between the, the the colors of the head and the hair. I will make some blends myself, but I don't want it to uh, to bleed uh, one into the other. That's why we wait a little bit, let it dry. And once you once you know the uh, the steps, the method, you can make it. Uh, you can try to make it uh, faster. Like maybe it will bleed one in the other into the other, and uh, you get some interesting results. But for now, we just want to uh, to make a separation with, between the stages. <clears throat> now, once it dries, the, the hair will dry. We will see what it needs to be uh, to be done more because because these these curls that they uh, deserve more uh, attention later. Maybe not that much, but but. Uh, as, as a little bit of attention, but what I what I want to mention now that we are waiting is that we started with a very light uh, yellow, and we ended with a very dark brown, blue uh, blue brown here. So we have the uh, inside and outside, inside and outside of the uh, of the hair, and this is what we want to uh, uh, to have in this stage about uh, this lady's head. Okay, we good? We done with the hair? Let's go. Let's go. 
Now look, we have we have this side is very light and kind of uh, bluish, maybe not so bluish, but but uh, cooler than, than than this side in here. So we want to think about uh, how to approach it. Um, Maybe I prepare. So I make that kind of red. I make that kind of red for the left side and for the neck and here the lower part of the <coughs> bit of the neck over there. And yellow and some blue, kind of greenish maybe. If I want to lighten, I've got a very vibrant color here. If I want to lighten it, shall I dilute it or add white? Dilute it. No, no white. No white. No white. No white. Okay, just checking. Yeah. Okay, sorry. Uh, okay, so I, I put this, this, uh, I try this blue here. Oh, let me keep the, uh, let me keep the lips, the lips, uh, keep them, uh, away from any color right now. Okay. We put this blue here. I tried something. I never tried it before. Why blue? And then and then and then we go for for the for the reds here. Oh. Don't be afraid with the with the color. Now I, I preserve the, the 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 eyes. Don't touch the eyes. Because we don't want the eyes red. The eyes are red. There's a problem in the eyes. Right. Uh, maybe white here. And a little bit here. on the right side. Careful the eyes. You say. Okay. And go down here. Uh, 
Very nice. I go, I go a little bit darker. Uh, here, just uh, with the. Uh, Almost dry brush, just as a suggestion for uh, for the shadow on the left side of the nose, but not too much. Okay. That's it, done. You can sign. You can sign your painting. Thank you, bye bye. Now let it dry. I will use the uh, hair dryer just to make it uh, a little bit. Uh... If you have a hair dryer, it helps. What color did you use for the face? I used um, uh, cad orange, cad red, and alizarin crimson. Now for, for here I used the um, cerulean for the blue, maybe it's cerulean just just to give it uh, for this blue, but it's orange red and, and dark red kind of uh, alizarin is a dark red. Some part I forgot to record, but. Okay, so since since everything is a, is a soft, we will work soft uh, today. Um, which means smaller brushes. This is a, a mop brush. This is this is mop brush, and this one is a mop brush. Okay, so you see the uh, the difference. Mop brush means it takes a lot of water, but if it's small, it takes less water. But if you want now not to go um, uh, too dark with the color, I want to make uh, as I said, I want to make it softer. So I want a, a, a brush <coughs> that can paint some water. But um, um, not too dark. Remember, if if you go if you go for for a small brush like this, this is a, compared to this one, it's smaller. It looks almost the same, but it's smaller. It takes more color. Okay, more more paint. If you work with this one, yes, yeah, this one. This is for for you don't put water in this. I mean, you use water, but this is not for uh, for washes. Yes, it's just for uh, make dark uh, dark notes with uh, with the color. Very uh, very little uh, water. Okay, so you want to make it soft. It's a little bit too, uh, too red. I want it more. Try to have a, a tissue in your hand. So if you want to uh, take something off you make mistake or you want to clean an area you can uh, you can do it it's 
too much. So it's a little bit diff it, 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 it's a little diff little different than we we used to work. We we want to make a, to build the darks, not that dark as I did now. Here's more orange on the cheek. Um, Amir, I've done it a bit differently. I wonder if this is, can I show you? Is it okay? Wait, wait a second, wait a second. Alright. Why you do it differently? Second, soften it a little bit. Okay, the other side. I need. I need. I want to work a little bit here. So different uh, brush. soft So I have the tissue in my hand and I just just uh, wipe the brush to make it uh, dry. Just work it out, work the place out. Just like building building the um, the three-dimensional feeling with darks. So this remain light, light, dark. This side is, is the darker than the other side. And I'll go down here to the chin. From the corner of the mouth. Pay attention that we have light on the left side, we have some light here, so we want to uh, uh, leave it untouched, for it's very important for the feeling of uh, this coming forward, the face, the chin, the cheek here, a little bit yellow, more yellowish. Anyway, if it's too sharp, the line, so I, I uh, wet my brush a little bit, wipe it, and then just on the corner of the line, make it a soft transition. This would be a... need to be more blue in this area. Cerulean. 
just make it uh, a little bit darker here. Not too much, not too much, not too much. Now we left the, the lips untouched, we don't touch it yet. I want to make the shadow here. This is a bigger, bigger brush and be cooler in a way with uh, alizarin crimson and a touch of uh, light yellow, uh, transparent yellow. I think this is actually it's a gold yellow, something like this. I found this color. I use it sometimes. I just I just find colors and I try them and and they're on my palette until they disappear. Too much, not too much. Now at this moment, I I see that that uh, start to have a connection between the the dark of the hair here and the the cheek inside the shadow. We don't want to make a strong separation there. Now be careful, preserve the, the light here. Okay. Very soft values here. Soft touches. The forehead goes uh, uh, backwards, so so the light is in this area, but but close to the hair, it's already a little bit uh, uh, it's darker. So we we try to uh, keep this area lighter. Now we have shadow here on this side, which is uh, our shadows is is uh, our reds on this side. The reds, the light is is a cool light blue, and the shadow is uh, is more towards the red. Warm shadows. We like to have warm shadows. Out of the hair as well here. And here. Not yet, don't touch the eyebrows yet. Jody, don't rush. I want it darker, it will be darker. But we don't want to make any um, any dark like, like the hair here. We want to have uh, uh, to build it transparent. So we have we have the first layer and then the second layer and maybe the third layer. But we, we don't want to just cover it and cover it and cover it to uh, to make it opaque. We want to think that the, it's important to show the paper. Yeah, the paper has to bring the the light to the colors. I work this area. Little bit of cobalt to the to the color here, just to make it uh, orange in color and and uh, cobalt and red. Um, 
to make it um, darker and maybe cooler somehow somehow yeah this will be dark dark Open it a little bit. Let's go from from here. It goes down here. Orangey, more orangey. A bit more orange here. If you want to soften this one, so small brush. We soften the transition. Small brush, soften the transition. Soften it. Okay, maybe I go inside with uh, darker, wetting uh, uh, just to make a, a bleeding there uh, to connect the uh, the hair with uh, the shadow of the neck. Something like this. I have a feeling that I need to uh, to make the this maybe maybe a little bit too too wide, just a little bit, tiny bit uh, wide here. So uh, I'm very careful. Make something here. as long as I can. This is a painting to uh, to learn from it because we we work slow and we separate the the stages so we can uh, we can learn if you are not rush don't rush especially if you live in uh, Northern Europe, the other side of the canal, don't rush. Then I come and blend it a little bit with some water on my 
a brush. Darker a little bit here. Everything is very soft, like we don't have a sharp transitions. Okay, I go this side of the eye and now the other side. And then down here. orange on the left side of the face comes up here soften it you're soft baby you're soft So you see, if you work this way, we can we can make uh, we can add layers and make it darker, and it still remain transparent. Here, I want to blend it together. Soften the edges. Here I want to leave it uh, lighter. Be careful, don't take it all the way to the chin. The nostril are brown. It's, it will be never... No, the other way around. Never make it blue. No holes in the body are blue. Like if you open the mouth or anything, uh, don't think about blue. Is more reddish than uh, than red brown.
don't close the um, uh, the nostril. Don't close it here. Like leave it as if it goes down, melt with the uh, with the upper lip here, with this area of the upper lip. If you close it, you just it just pops up. So try to uh, to remember. This we'll keep it this way. I mean, what? Too dark. Way too much. I wasn't. Uh, have to be very careful here. Not to ruin it. Here, there's a greenish, greenish, uh, it's not a shadow, it's a concavity in the, uh, in the face, here behind, uh, underneath the uh, lower lip. And it's more, it's a greenish in a way. Same here, a little bit green. We can go for the lips. Um, Elizabeth Crimson or Carmine, what's going to be the good? No. Very rosy, rosy lips. This we get with the uh, alizarin crimson, I think. Better. Leave some light here, not all the... Uh... It's interesting uh, movement of the lips here. Then inside here, just leave it. Uh, the light is not is not at the at the line, at the at the connection between the upper and the lower lip. The light is farther farther outside, like towards us. It's coming to the turning of the of the lower lip. So in the second, I, yeah, I, didn't, I didn't see what you did. Did you do the dark outline first or something? No, no, no. There's no dark outline. This is. Um, uh, the the pencil mark. I didn't do yet the uh, the dark line. Not yet. Oh. I just I just color it in, and I left uh, some white on the lower lip. You see.
Okay. Let's go for the eyes. And then we, we can go back to, uh, to the darks in the face. This can be even darker, the, this blue, I put it here, it can be uh, even darker to bring this up. But uh, turquoise and um, or turquoise, turquoise, I think Spanish, and um, cobalt blue. Just to begin to begin with. Then we will do the uh, the blue, uh, the light blue, the white of the eye. Professionally, we call it Sclara. It's a Sclara. Uh, it's, it's more blue than, than white. Remember, there's no white in nature. It's a very light color. It can be yellow, it can be blue, it can be green. No white. And we, we use white, pure white. We use only for the highlight somewhere. Like we take white and we put in the eye or we put somewhere at the tip of the nose or somewhere. But, but we don't brush brush in, brush in uh, uh, white, uh, white paint because, because there's no. So if you look at the eyes, they are very light compared to the, to the iris, but still there's, light, there, there's a color in them. Even, even um, you can see the, uh, the necklace here is, is maybe is whiter than the eyes. Yes, so um, there's no white. It really, uh, I bring it up, and you can see how blue. Yes, you can see how this is blue, gray, blue. Look, look, look here. Maybe look here. Maybe is uh, even even lighter than the eyes. Lighter. You see this one and this one. This is more yellow. Okay, yellowish, but still it's lighter than the. Uh, the gray blue that we see in the eyes. So remember this. This is not so much uh, what we tend to think. Oh, white. No white. In watercolor, we in um, oil paint we usually we use uh, black and white, and maybe black, white, and and blue to make the white of the of the eyes. Don't be afraid. The other side is gray. And then we do some reds. We, we, we put some reds at the corners. Because we have uh, the corner of the eyes, we have some reds over there. I want to go back and put some... some some uh, darker blue. and the steel. Just 
they look uh, round. She looks round to me. Okay. Dry brush. This is a goat hair brush. This is a uh, fox, I think. Okay, this uh, feels better than they have uh, the dark here to the compared to the to the face. Now, Johnny, the 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 dark line between the lips. So on the left side, this is the more uh, this is the, the, the shadowy part of the uh, of the mouth, of the face at all. But I want it to be more red. It's a dark red. It's not a uh, not crimson. It's a more red here. And the corners, I bring it up a little bit. Of course, here and this side, same. Darker. And just a little bit. I want to leave the the upper the upper part of the uh, of the lip. I want to leave it uh, lighter. So it will not be f the, the, the color will not flatten it. Yeah. Make it deeper on the left side. Just a little bit deeper. Yeah. Don't make any lines to uh describe the the lips there's not there's no lines as we say before it's just a, a, a tone a value that is darker than lighter that's it don't make any uh, any other uh, dark lines to describe it the upper part can be a little bit darker Just the upper part. Now dark green. And the upper side of the dark green. Later on, I'll put some some uh, black in it. But for now, with this uh, dark green, I suggest something with uh,
Okay. Uh, the eyebrows as well, they are, they are green. So we can, uh, we can mix something with them. If you join the 5 p.m. class, we're going to have her on the sofa. Nice pose. Not so much as a portrait, but as a figure on the sofa. Seated lady on the sofa. Uh, it's a bit uh, darker. Just give it some some depth on the left side. Okay. I need some more darks here. Here as well. Darker. No, she's, she's having also um, a color on her nose. This area is, is light. This area is light, but here, because of she's, she's raising the, the head a little bit. So, so here we have a darker, um, darker value. And it will help uh, bringing the head up. So let's see this one. Go this side, comes here. Ah, beautiful. This is what we needed. Now I want you to think about a uh, very light 
transitions that we want to create there's two sides of the, the face, the, the shadow side and the light side. When we work on the light side, we want to, uh, to think very light, like uh, this area. Let's put it this, uh, this way, this area here. I can see that the, the nose coming forward is lighter, and, and here the, uh, uh, the eye socket here is a little bit darker. So, so uh, it is gray, yeah, blue gray, very soft. Just to suggest that uh, it's going backward compared to this area. Okay. Now the other side is uh, warmer. Here it's warmer. It goes up here. Not too, uh, not too dark. Take it off a little bit. So we're designing here the uh, all this area with the uh, lighter lighter values see shadow shadow kind of shadow Uh, the corner of the eye has to be should be reddish not too much To make the, the white of the eye go uh, uh, light until the corner, because because the, the, the eye is, is round, so it goes to the corner and gets uh, less light. Um, it will be um, darker a little bit. So that's how we describe the the roundness of the eye. There's a little blue in the eyes. Bluish part at the bottom. Don't cover the entire eye with uh, one, one color. Leave it somehow uh, to uh, breathe, as we say. Maybe a little bit uh, darker here, just a tiny bit. Now I see it can can make uh, some dark dark uh, dark note here and soften it to the outside. Okay, it goes inside, All right? And also here. 
can do the same here. Same here inside. And soften. So this is a connection between the hair and the head. Otherwise, it will be like a wig, right? We don't want to have a, to give her a wig here. Same here, darker. Just to make the connection, just to make the connection to the hair. And maybe here also something. darker not a strong line between the mandibles the jaws here and the and the neck it's very soft here so we want, don't want to have a sharp line and shadow Shadow, this is shadow. Oh, ah, shadow. <laughs> okay, I want to go back a little bit to the hair and to see what's uh, what life will bring us, what lunch we have. Any lunch? For you it's breakfast, late breakfast. Uh, Jody, maybe. Okay. Orange. Bird sienna, light red. Cerulean blue. So I make I, I I took orange, I took light red and cerulean blue to make that kind of uh, brown for for some some darks that I want to uh, to make for the hair. Maybe we can. Um, Make it, make it, uh, just about the hair. So have some freedom to uh, to add a little bit hair. This kind of a middle middle we think about it as a, as a middle value, not as dark as as uh, we did the previous. Just on top, kind of, just to bring the, let's say the, the third light, or the the darkest light, maybe. Just so what I what I'm looking for is to make her 
face look uh, brighter. This is the idea of darkening the hair around. So we put some some white white dot in her eyes. It's interesting to paint uh, this figure because as I met her, she she's. Uh, Red hair girl, always mo always moving, and even try to uh, freeze her in a, for a picture, in a painting. Okay, some more water just to. This I want just to uh, let it melt here. Maybe. Maybe yeah, I put some white uh, on top. Okay, small brush. Small brush. Like this one. It's called Rigger. Rigger is a very small brush, long, the hair is long and it um, tends to make uh, long lines, like if we have a some weeds or uh, in sails we have a uh, all this line that hold the sails. Venta we call it, I don't know in English how you call it. Matushki. Odmat, odmat, odmat. I told my dog that uh, 12.30 she can have some sausage. So she said, uh, Look at the wa the watch. Do what you promise. Small one. Wait, we. I'm done here, so I'll just uh, I'll look what you see, what you did. I let it. Uh, I let it dry. Thank you very much.